Alright, so Clockwork just added the Physics Bearing. So the Physics Bearing is a new block, and it behaves a lot like a Mechanical Bearing from Create Mod, but there's a few differences. The first is that it creates a Valkyrian Sky's ship, so it can have physics applied to it. So here we have some chassis, we've got the Physics Bearing, and I'll just turn this handle. And you see, it turns it, but it's also affected by gravity. How cool is that? So right now the block has selectable modes, there's unlocked and there's locked. Currently only unlocked works. This is in alpha 1.3. Um, surely there will be uh, some updates where we'll get the locked feature. And I imagine that would mean that the, um, that the blocks attached to the physics bearing wouldn't be affected by physics or gravity, but only by the input. That's what I imagine it would be. Alright, so go ahead and show you how to do this yourself. You go ahead and you place down the bearing, you attach a block to it, and you right click the bearing. There'll be a little animation, and then you'll have physics in the blocks that are attached to your bearing. So you can also do things like attach a sequence gear shift to a bearing. Here I've put one that'll turn 180 degrees. Go ahead and click here. Oh, that didn't seem to want to turn. Hmm, is it because it's stuck here? Will the ground stop it? Hmm, what if we change the direction? What if we make it go the other way? Ah, so because it has physics, it knows it can't go through the ground. That's why it didn't work when it was trying to go in the other direction. I changed the direction so that it didn't go through the ground. Okay, cool. So what can we do with this? Well, we can do a few things. So this here is a ship I made. Um, it doesn't work very well, but I'll show it to you anyway. What I've done is I put a propeller on a bearing on a physics bearing. So what that does is that allows me to actually tilt the rotor. So now we can change the directions that propellers point in. This is kind of cool. This, I think this has a chance at revolutionizing how we have um, vertical flight. Because up to now we've had planes, we've had balloons. Helicopters, we've had trouble with them in Valkyrian skies. So, I think I think we're gonna see some uh, some neat uh, some neat builds. So let me show you how this works. And you see, I can tilt this. All right. And if <laughs> so, you see, it's not very stable. All right. This that that that's why. Um... Yeah, it needs a little bit of tweaking. I gotta find a way to stabilize this, but you can kind of tilt it, and then let's. Okay, so you see. <laughs> let, let me stop this. All right. <laughs> um, so the propeller is pointed this way. If I activate it, I think it might actually right itself. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, so it's pretty unstable, um, but I think with some tweaks it can be made more stable, probably, you know, I, I slapped this together in a few minutes this morning, probably if I sat down and said, okay, I'm going to make something that works uh, with a propeller on a bearing, I could probably make something a little bit more stable, uh, but we'll see, uh, we'll see what people uh, end up doing with this. Alright, so on to the next thing. I decided to do a few experiments. Here we have wing blocks on a bearing. So wings provide lift but they're different from propellers um, I'm not sure how exactly uh, they're different but with the physics bearing we can use wings to generate lift Wow I mean wings generated lift before but they had to be on a plane they had to be moving so this reminds me of a helicopter because on a helicopter the propeller that spins on top actually acts more like a wing than a propeller so they'll actually call planes fixed wing aircraft and uh, I believe they call helicopters rotary wing aircraft. So this setup here, this is a flap. So basically I wanted to see what would happen if I put a flap. So flaps, contrary to wings, they don't produce lift at any angle. So wings in clockwork will always produce lift. Um, they don't have to be angled at all. A flap needs to be angled. So I made this to show you that if you have a flap that just spins, it's not going to go anywhere. So these are both running at the same speed. Even if I crank it up, it's not going to fly. You see, it's not connected to the grid. It's actually a ship. Okay, so what I actually have here, it's another setup that uses flaps. So I have flaps here. 
um, and they're gonna spin so I can go ahead and show you what happens so these are flaps they're spinning nothing's happening because flaps need to have an angle so what I've done is I put flat bearings here and I've linked a controller to control them and we're gonna change the angle on the flaps and we're gonna see what happens oh that's amazing I can I can angle them to go up to stop or even to go down so this is really cool so this is like the the cyclic on a helicopter I hope I'm saying that right this the cyclic or the cyclic is what changes the angle of all the blades on the helicopter rotor so I said the helicopter rotor was like a wing it's like a wing that can change its angle and it, it can also tilt so changing the angle of the blades of the helicopter is one way that it can move around so I think we're very close to having realistically functioning helicopters I think with what I showed you in the first setup and with this there's got to be some way to have a realistically functioning helicopter and I'm really excited to see what people make this is I had a lot of fun making this setup um, there's a lot of great things that are going to come out of this so I'll show you one more time because I I mean I love playing with this just ah uh, you can just like fly up and down and it's really stable or at least okay <laughs> maybe not that stable but you get the idea all right, so now let's move on to the next thing. This is something a little bit more destructive, a little bit more violent. So what I've done is I've set up a platform with some Create Big Cannon auto cannons. So I'm going to show you what this can do. So I'll grab this controller right here and show you that we can now have functional turning gun turrets. Wow. So this is cool. We can just sit here. We can aim at our targets. That's pretty cool. So you can put this on a ship. You can put this on your base. This opens up a ton of new possibilities. I thought that would blow up. Maybe it blew up, but my computer is just lagging. Or maybe the armor-piercing shells don't blow up TNT anymore. What if I do it from here? Huh. Well, that's anticlimactic. Huh. Oh, and one last thing. I made a car. So, this is a primitive car. It doesn't have steering. I mean, I can steer, but it steers only by turning off one side at a time. Um, I've had problems with this. So, if you look at my map, it actually went a little crazy and I zigzagged all the way down here. Um, I'll turn it on for you. I'll show it to you a little bit. Hopefully, it won't go too crazy. So, we've got this engine here at 16 RPM. I've got clutches. Uh, each wheel has its own clutch, and the front and the back each have their own separate clutch. All right, so let's cautiously increase the speed. And I've reloaded the game since, so I don't know if loading and unloading the game has effects. No, there we go. Okay, that's that's what I was saying. That's. <laughs> I'll just put the brakes on. Um, if I put enough blocks, it'll stop. So I just have a lot of kinetic energy, I guess. That's why I keep spinning around. We'll just wait until that dissipates. Okay. So let's try that again. And I've even added all this netherite here because I thought by adding netherite it would increase the weight and make me less prone to do that, but it didn't turn out to be the case. Okay, so I think I fixed that. Let's go back here. And you know what? I'm only going to open one set of wheels. Okay, that's not really working well. Well, I was able to get a good pace earlier, just a stable cruising speed takes a bit to overcome the initial friction and we're starting to go forward no the wheels are struggling a little bit <laughs> that's scaring me I, don't, I really don't want them to go crazy again uh, I gotta be careful okay once they start moving 12 is 12 a reasonable speed so, I mean, this is what it looks like. I'm I'm driving. So, we can have cars in Minecraft now. How cool is this? And obviously they have their problems. But now I've got a nice stable speed. And I bet you this could even go over obstacles. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and try this um, 
in a world of terrain later. Um, I'll probably release that in another video if it doesn't fail spectacularly, or maybe I'll release it anyway. Um, so here we go. So the wheels, they, they each turn independently. So it's like one is turning and then the other one's slipping, but you know, they kind of just plot along and, um, oh, I'll show you the turning. So to turn how it works is I have to deactivate a wheel. So right now we're facing north. Turn off that wheel. And we need a little bit more power because we don't have as many wheels turning, so the wheels have to do more work. And you see we're turning kind of, uh, we're turning eastwards now. So, um, yeah, that's how you control it for now. So, um, I mean, this is a prototype. I'm probably going to play with this a lot more in the next few days or weeks. Uh, this is really cool, and I hope... I mean, I hope I see what other people build. This is kind of revolutionary, honestly, because this was not, I want to say it wasn't possible before. It was. People did make cars, but they were really, okay, the wheels are going crazy. Let me turn that off. Yeah, so people made cars before, but, um, you know, they, they, they were a little bit funny in the way they worked. They kind of depended on... Uh, using weight or some sort of, I guess, propulsion from like uh, jets or something like that or propellers to turn the wheels. Now we can directly turn the wheels with rotational force. So there you go. That's it for the physics bearing. I can't wait to see what they add to it. I can't wait to see what changes are made. Thank you for watching.